Okay, it's time to do another accountability for all video, and let me tell you folks, I'm going to give that jackass and his emotional support tumor one hell of a shellacky this time. I've got a screenshot of his three percenters tattoo showing he's affiliated with an anti-government militia. I've got footage of that anti-government militia training out in the woods like a bunch of crazy people, including a part where they're training how to detain people on the roadside at gunpoint, something they have even less lawful authority to do than police officers. I've also got his latest clickbait titled video where he says he was arrested when in fact it was just covering some other First Amendment auditing idiot getting arrested. And for someone who doesn't like cops, he can't hesitate to run off to one to complain when someone pretends to give him lawful commands like a police officer, something he loves to do to people on a daily basis. And... Oh. Hi, Fessington. I didn't see you there. Shouldn't you be working on a fail corner video? Sir, I'm going on holiday. What? Now? Yes, it's been well over a year since the last one. Oh, I guess you got a point. Well, don't let me keep you. Uh, have a great time. I'll try not to call you to do any videos while you're out there again. Sir? Yeah? You are going as well. What? No, are you kidding me? I've, I've got work to do. I've been way behind. I haven't done any videos and, you know, these frauders aren't going to call themselves out. I'm dead serious, sir. You have allowed yourself to sink back into letting your emotions get the better of you, and frankly, it has become hazardous to your health. What? That's preposterous. This isn't having a hazardous effect on my health. Okay, maybe you got a point. Alright, if it means that much to you... Maybe I can extend my hiatus a little more outside the station, clear my head, and get back to this later. Just give me some time to pack. No need. Your bags are already packed and we're ready to go. Oh, how convenient. Thank you. Alright, let, let's just go before I change my mind. I call shotgun. Oh sure, make me drive. Let me guess, you don't have a driver's license because you're not operating in commerce. No, I don't have a driver's license, because I am a talking robot hat who serves as a cleverly constructed metaphor to represent your internal dialogue brought upon by your overactive imagination and introverted nature. Oh, right. Okay then, let's get this show on the road. Well, it's a long drive back to Earth. What do you want to do? We can watch a funny Sovereign Citizen video. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Cue it up. Yes, sir. Here's one from Georgia where apparently the Sheriff's deputies no longer have any room for any of this Sovsit's nonsense. I believe you will find it quite... ...smashing. Okay, so... <sighs> Officer, what's your name and badge number, please? I can't see it because your walkie-talkie's in the way. Boy. What the hell am I looking at? Jeez, are you kidding me with this? Fessington, this is not exactly comfortable. Don't look at me. This is how he uploaded it. Wait, I can see a date and timestamp. Did he mount his dash camera upside down? Dear God, I get a headache just watching these videos that are filmed vertically on their phones. I mean, you know what? I've got a pet peeve here. If this is so important, such a big deal to these people, this whole, I'm standing for my rights BS. Do you think it's too much to ask if they just learn a little bit of editing? I mean, this guy had enough knowledge of how to upload the video file and put a title to it on YouTube. But he didn't stop to think that maybe he could try to, I don't know, rotate it? Well, we're not going to watch it like this, for God's sakes. C can somebody please flip this over? Uh, what's your first name and last name? Don't have to tell you that. Don't have to tell you that. This is going to result in a complaint. Um, Go right ahead, brother. So I'm asking what I need for to, your driver's license and proof of insurance. Could I have your card, please? Say again? Could I have your employee card? No, you may not. No, oh, blow it out your ass. I need your Why driver's not? license and proof of insurance. Okay, if I can't have your, um, if I can't have that, could I, uh, could you get in contact with your supervisor, please? 
I am asking, I am giving you a lawful order. That's not a lawful order. Yes, it is. What, do I need to explain it? Okay, fine. Georgia Code, Title 40, Chapter 5, Article 2, 40-5-29, License to be Carried and Exhibited on Demand. You know how that one French uh, mathematician Descartes said, I think, therefore I am? Yeah, he didn't say, I think, therefore it is so. So every time we get someone who says, this is unlawful, or this is unconstitutional, yeah, that means approximately jack and shit. And Jack's left town with a properly registered vehicle and valid license. Yes, I'm asking Could you, you for your driver's license. I'm gonna read something insurance. to you. Ex parte and Dickey. This is Dickey versus Davis. Every citizen has an unalienable that. right I don't care to I make that. use I'm of the public highways of the state. License, Every citizen has full freedom to travel insurance. from place to place in the enjoyment of life and liberty. People versus not house. This is 147 Colorado. No state government entity has the power to allow or deny passage on the highways, byways, nor waterways transporting his vehicles and personal property for either rep recreation or business, but by being subject only to local work regulations, safety, caution, traffic lights, speeds, and speed limits. Travel is not a privilege requiring licensing, vehicle registration, or forced insurances. Everybody got that? Where do we begin with this malarkey? First, ex parte, Dickey vs. Davis, was a case not involving the right to travel, or even traffic laws, but was a felony murder case. A case, by the way, that ended with a guilty verdict. Dickey's arguments that this moron is citing, were unsuccessful in court. Furthermore in the case it says, which he conveniently left out of his reading of it, that the case determined that the legislature, does in fact have the authority to regulate your right to travel. To add insult to injury, when a defendant, likely another sovereign citizen, attempted to cite this in his own case in West Virginia, arguing that traffic laws violated his constitutional right to travel, that argument was shot down because it again cited the fact that the case does not support the proposition that the Virginia state legislature does not have authority to impose licensing requirements. In short, he is citing a case that is not only relevant to his present situation, but has also been thoroughly debunked in other case law. And as far as People vs. Nothouse, that was also a case where a defendant tried to argue that the requirement for licensing was a violation of constitutional right to travel. A case that also affirmed that the state does have the right to impose regulation, especially when it has to do so in interests of public safety, stating that establishing standards of fitness and competence to drive a motor vehicle and thus the state issuing a license that shows that you have met those standards, is reasonable. And to the surprise of absolutely no one, this case did not affirm the argument that you don't need a license or have to register your vehicle to travel, because the defendant making the argument lost. Are we seeing a pattern here? The term motor vehicle means every description of carriage or other contrivance propelled or drawn or drawn by mechanical power and or used for commercial purposes and nobody cares for I mean yeah, da, 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 da. yeah we've pretty much gone over this whole Black's Law dictionary definition of a motor vehicle definition of driving yada 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 it's the same thing it always has been it always will be let's move on this is a private automobile sir this is why I don't have tags registration in fact I've already gone through this and had my actual plate stolen by an officer so I'm already dealing with a situation like this, and I would like to preserve your employment. Translation. He probably got conned into buying one of those fake sovereign citizen license plates, which like any counterfeit version of a government-issued ID, are illegal and thus was likely seized by police the last time he was pulled over and failed to talk himself out of it. I'm trying to allow you to do the right thing here. I'm trying oh, to help I, you. I I'm. You I'm. You a citation. I'm tr it doesn't. I don't understand the problem. But you're detaining me right now. You you're detaining me. License. I'm going to read. I'm going to read. I'm going to read Title 18 for you. Because you need to know this. Because I want you to be on the side of the people. No, you just want to live in a world where you get all the benefits and privileges of being in a society without having to fulfill any of your obligations or responsibilities. I want you to be on our side. I want you to do the right thing. No rights are being violated. They are being, they I'm are. On the side of that based on what I just to told you, based but, on what but, I just told you, you are violating my right because that was constitution. Not that was constitutional right law. That was Supreme Court law. My duty. I am not. I am not. Jail. 
I am not. I am not obstructing. I am not obstructing anything. I'll show you my driver's license. Although, 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 although. Up yours. Up yours. Up yours. Up yours. Up yours. I know for a fact. Stop talking. I need it now. One moment. I'm going to. I'm going to look up this law because we're going to be patient. We're going to be all right, patient. All right, we're done. Go ahead and step out. Go ahead and step Sir. out. I'm going to smash this windshield. Sir, please don't I'm smash my window. Remove you. Smash You're breaking the law. Do not do that. Listen to me. Exit Listen the vehicle. One moment. Exit the vehicle Sir, right excuse me. Could you, could you call your supervisor, please? Issue. No! Now comes everyone's favorite part where the sovereign citizen realizes he's clearly screwed and he's going to start spitballing everything in his script. Out. Could you call your supervisor, please? We're past that. I have no contract with you. It. Please don't do that. We're please don't do that. We're not past anything because I haven't it. committed a crime. Why are you trying to ruin my life? Try asking that question to a mirror, and you might actually get an answer. Why are you trying to ruin my life? Do not damage my property. 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 Tell you the truth, this guy's starting to get on my nerves. Unlock your truck and step You are out. not giving me a lawful order. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Listen, you are not the law. Listen, you're under arrest. You are not the law. Listen, you are breaking the law. You are breaking the law. Seconds. Call your supervisor, please. Nope, I don't have to Sir, do please that. call your supervisor. Yes, you do. I do not have to do that. I'm going to record this call. live on YouTube Ready? right now. Safe like repair, safe like replace. Oh, damn it! Damn. damn. That window just got decentralized into another dimension. It would seem this deputy discovered how to convert glass back into sand via physical energy. You want to see that again? Oh, God, yes. I'm going to record this live on YouTube right now. What the f***? Show me your f***ing hand. What the f***? What are you doing? Stop this shit to you! <laughs> <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> Show me, get out! What are you doing? Right we now. told you, you're under arrest. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop you're breaking the law! You're breaking the law! You're breaking the law! You're breaking the law! There's the possibility of electrocution! Get out! I have a gun right here! Stop! I have a gun right here! Stop! What? Oh, and he was carrying a firearm during all this and never disclosed it till now. Yeah, he's in trouble. I have a gun right here. Stop, please. Come on, what are you doing? Vehicle. Right now, you're going to get tased. Hands up. I'm out. Hands up. I'm out. Hands up. I'm out. Hands up. 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 I didn't break any laws! Help me, please! Somebody help me, please! Help me, please! Isn't anybody gonna help that poor man? Hush, Harriet. That's a sure way to get him killed. Please don't take me. Don't okay, okay. You don't have the right to do this! You're under arrest. Why are you doing... Please You're... take my phone. Please get my phone. Please get my phone. Young phone will be grabbed in a phone. Jeez, what is it with these guys' obsessions and their phones? I mean, the phone is not gonna save you. Anywho, the rest of the video is just the camera sitting on the dashboard while we hear the cops uh, secure and inventory the vehicle. Really nothing of note. So, once again, we have yet another sovereign citizen getting a free ride to the Great Bar Hotel and a pair of shiny new bracelets. Indeed. No doubt this wasn't his first act of stupidity, and certainly won't be his last. Well, that's the thing about sovereign citizens. They never learn. You know the old saying, the definition of insanity is just repeating the same thing over and over and over, expecting a different result? Well, I feel like they're the embodiment of that. I mean, here we are, exercising our right to travel. Granted, in unconventional means, but the point is, we're able to do it just fine, and we never get pulled over or arrested. So is it really so much to ask that they just do the same thing the rest of us do? Because our life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness has never been the least bit inhibited by it. But, then again... Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you like what you see here and you want to see even more in the future, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, feel free to share your thoughts down in the comment section. I always love to read them. Till next time.
Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Admit it. We're lost. No, we're not lost. I have a keen sense of direction. Look, I can see Earth from here. Sir, that's Jupiter.